Tut Nerd here. It is July 12th, 2011, about 3 p.m. where I live. Today I'm going to show you how to actually set up a MySQL database in GoDaddy and install SMF, Simple Machine Forms, by hand. And I've already downloaded Simple Machine Forum, so if you haven't done that, you might want to pause the video. Go to simplemachines.org.org and download it. The 1.1 is no longer available that I know of. You're going to have to download 2.0. That being said, we're in my GoDaddy account. I'm already logged in. I'm going to go to my account. I'm going to get right to it. And you can see that I bought tutnerdforum.com. And I'm just going to scroll down here to web hosting. I'm going to click that. And I'm going to launch it. It's going to open it up in a new window or a new tab. Okay, first thing that I want to do is go down here to databases. And what pops up is MySQL and Easy Database. We do not want Easy Database. That is for auto populating tables and data into a website. That's a completely different tutorial for a completely different day. We're going to click MySQL. There's nothing here. This is a brand new hosting account. What I'm going to do is hit Create Database. You have to type a description. So I'm going to type Tut Nerd Forum SMF MySQL Database Username. I'm going to put Tut Nerd um, Forum 11. And you can put anything you want. And type my password. and then just click OK. Now generally GoDaddy uh, doesn't take long at all to set up these uh, databases. Right now it says pending setup. Usually it's a minute or two. The, their auto installer is awesome but sometimes their auto installer for stuff like WordPress and Simple Machine Forms, PHP, BB, all that stuff, it'll, it'll get hung up. I've, I've literally had it hang up on me for a day or two and I've had to call tech support and they've had to figure out what the issue is. So that's what this tutorial is for is to show you how to do it manually because if you do it manually then it doesn't take long at all as you'll see in this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna refresh this to see if it's finished setting up. It hasn't finished setting up. So while we're waiting for that to finish setting up I'm gonna go to FileZilla And I do have to get my uh, my login name because uh, GoDaddy doesn't let you set that anymore. They assign it to you on their hosting accounts. So anybody that's not familiar with FileZilla, you got host, username, and password. With GoDaddy, it's just your the the domain name that you're hosting on that account. Username is what they assigned me, and then I know my password because they actually let you designate what that is. And I'm going to click Quick Connect, and maybe I type my password wrong. Okay, I had a little technical difficulty there, so I actually paused the Camtasia. <laughs> We're back live now. You probably noticed that the, I don't know if you saw the background, but it changed. Anyway, I got my password uh, reset. I must have fat fingered it when I set up that account. So, that being said, here are the SMF files that I've already downloaded. So, what I'm going to do is just highlight them all. And if you look over here, I've connected in FileZilla. And you got CGI, you got stats, you don't want to load anything in either one of these folders. You got favicon, gdform.php, that's for email, php.ini, all that stuff. So you don't need to worry about any of that. All you want to do is grab all your files and simply drag them over and drop them. And you'll see there's a thousand files that are going to transfer. This usually doesn't take that long. I've got high-speed uh, cable internet, 
and it's fiber, so it's pretty quick. I get about 25 meg down, 7 up. If you've got a slower internet connection, this could take a little bit longer, but it shouldn't be too bad. You can see on my screen, it's going pretty quickly. We're already down to 700 just about. I will pause the Camtasia and come back when this is done just for time reasons. Okay, our file transfer is done. All the files are there. You can see I scroll down. They're all there. I'm just going to go ahead and get out of this, close this. I'm going to go back to my browser and go into a new tab. And I'm going to type tutnerdforum.com. Bam, we're at the SMF installer. I'm going to hit continue. Now it asks for your server name, username, and password, and database name. So now I need to go back to GoDaddy, go to my hosting account. Remember that database we were setting up? We were waiting for it to finish setting up. Now we're going to go get that information. As soon as GoDaddy, there we go. So I'm going to come down here to databases, my SQL. There it is right there. I'm going to click this little pencil looking icon guy right here. Oh, it's still pending setup. Let us pause. Okay, the database is finished setting up. It says set up right here. So I'm going to click the little pencil icon right here. And here we have host name, database name, and username. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the host name. Just going to Copy that. Go to the SMF SMF installer. Remember its host name, which is actually in SMF when it's asking. That's your server name where it says local host. So you're going to paste that in there. And then username is the one that we typed and that's also the database name. GoDaddy always makes those the same. And then the password that you created. Then you click continue. Here's where you type your community name. So I'm going to put tut nerd forum. This just asks you down here if you want to allow simple machines to collect basic stats monthly. Uh, that basically enables them to you know, monitor the software that they've created and look for bugs and glitches and so on and so forth. And I usually tell them yes. So click continue. It tells you it created 63 tables, inserted 779 rows. Continue. Your username. I'm going to put tut nerd. My password. Confirm my password. My email address. And then you have to type the database, yeah, the database uh, password, in order for it to delete the install directory before it will go on. And here it's asking you to click here to confirm it, and then visit your newly installed form. Bam! There you are. In eight minutes and fifty-one seconds, with a couple glitches because things weren't set up right, we've installed uh, Simple Machine Forms 2.0. Sorry this was a little bit sloppy of a tutorial. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them. You can visit me at tutnerd.com. And I wish you adieu.